This is Iron Man, the Armored Avenger movie series, Marvel's Power Charge Armor War Machine. The figure is part of, I think, the movie series Wave 6 and the 3 and 3 quarter series of figures 10th Wave, I think. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, it's the first wave, at least, for 2011, at least here in Manila. Uh, it's a great figure. Um, it's an updated version of the War Machine uh, figure. A more movie accurate figure in my opinion put it to the side for a while this is the new packaging oh, come on it's not focusing it says Iron Man Armored Avenger and as you can see um, well there you've got the Avengers Assemble uh, logo I think that that means uh, I think Hasbro is doing this for all their movie figures Iron Man Captain America and Thor movie figures will have this logo uh, and these are the three founding members of the Avengers, which truly just makes sense because they're preparing for the Avengers movie. But anyway, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, it is a light-up figure, and therefore it has an open space right here where you can push the head. And it says, try me, touch the top of my head. And when you push it, uh, War Machine lights up just like the Mark VI Iron Man that had that light-up feature. So, battery included. And as you can see, this is figure number 41. Obviously, a continu uh, continuity or con continuity of the movie figures. And here's a look at the back, the artwork, and the rest of the assortment in this wave, or at least some of the assortments in this wave. <clears throat> so that's that. Okay, I'll take it out for now. So, on to the figure. Let me just stand him up. We can appreciate him. Um, okay. Now it's a. Uh, I think it's updated because the colors are different. The weapons are obviously different. Uh, the arms and and legs. The proportion is a little bit smaller. Um, and the color is really great, as far as I can say. Now, articulation is going to be ham hampered because of the gimmick. And this is the gimmick. When you push on the head, it just lights up, just like that. Let me turn off the light so you can see. A little bit hard in the, my figure. As you can see, it lights up. Uh, what's, what's cool about it is the, uh, some the, the parts where the panels of the armor meet are lit up. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, what, yeah, he, he, uh, this figure doesn't come with any base, no figure stand, no armor cards, thank goodness. And articulation, he's got a ball jointed, he ball -jointed neck, which still allows you to push the button. Uh, he's got a small ball jointed shoulder. I took this, I actually took off the arms and checked if it was a hinge joint or ball joint. It is actually a very small ball joint, which is uh, severely hindered by the amount of armor plating on his shoulder. He's got a ball hinge elbow, swivel wrist, no torso articulation. He's got a ball hinge uh, hip. Uh, thigh swivel, double hinge knees, and a ball hinge ankle. So very cool. Um, for those of you who remember the Walmart exclusive 6-inch war machine, this is actually a smaller version, in my opinion, of this figure. Uh, sounds the uh, waist, uh, the torso articulation, and the uh, reversal of the uh, the weapon systems. Um, the missile rack is on the left shoulder while the cannon, uh, just like the 6-inch figure, can move from left to right, which is very cool. It's on a hinge uh, that clips onto the back that you can move from side to side. It's got another hinge to raise and lower the cannon and a ball hinge to rotate the cannon 360. Oops. Okay. And they've, they've actually reduced the size of this uh, belt clip or the ammo clip uh, it's actually smaller this time around, and it's softer. Um, it pegs on a lot more securely this time around, but as you move the gun, it, it's really going to pop off. So th that's really how it is. There's really nothing you can do about it. Now, I know some of you are saying, wow, cool. 
Now I've got a more updated war machine. If I just want more articulation, I'm going to get my old war machine figure and just swap the missile rack and the, 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 the more accurate Gatling gun. I thought about that. <clears throat> but uh, apparently it's not meant to be because the... Let me get rid of this guy for a while. No, I'll just put him on the side. Um, the original War Machine is actually a lot... It's slightly bigger. See, as you can see, it's a little bit smaller. The limbs are smaller. The, the, the torso to some extent. Well, no, it's almost the same. The weapons are smaller, and the weapons, the way they clip on is a lot different. The The uh, original War Machine has a, uh, it's like a pinion, a rack and pinion with a ball joint. So the only way you're going to connect, no, there's no way you can connect the missile rack onto here because yeah, this one is a ball joint. Unless you can customize it, that'd be fine. My best advice, if you want a more accurate War Machine, you buy the um, the three-pack War Machine. The one with like the jungle motif going on. It has a missile rack that I think can clip on to this uh, rack and pinion clip system of this war machine. And as you can see, very big differences in paint. Um, uh, there's less silver here, I think. Uh, yeah. The, the details, uh, the numbers are still there. Uh, although this, the, the, the way the, the, the numbers are written on this one is a lot better than this one. Um... The head sculpt is certainly better. It's a lot slimmer. Um, and this one is, I think, I'm a very metallic type of black. Well, this one is sort of in a matte. It, it's it's glossy right now on camera, but it's actually matte, like a gunmetal gray type of matte finish. So that's pretty interesting. Yeah. As I mentioned, the Gatling gun uh, belt uh, ammo clip has been reduced, but all in all, the the, the detail is is roughly the same. So, uh, if you want a more playable, posable war machine, then this is the one you want to get, the first version. If you want a more screen accurate one, the one you can just put on your shelf, display them in a regular standing position, uh, with not much, with not too much articulation, then this is the one you want to get. I would have wished that Hasbro would have just kept the mold, uh, but. Uh, then they wouldn't be able to do this. Or maybe they would be, but I think they were going for this one. They were going for the, uh, like, a, a, a shrunken version of the 6-inch, but uh, they wanted people to, to buy it, um, even if you already had the original War Machine. Uh, so they added a gimmick. Um, but that, you know, this gimmick is pretty lame to me. It, it's okay. I like light-up figures, but... Uh, if it sacrifices articulation, I'm, I'm totally against it. But anyway, it's there. What can you do, right? So very cool. Uh, immediately, I immediately picked this one up when I saw it on, on the shelf. And it is, it is really a, a very well-made figure. Uh, very updated, very accurate to the screen. Uh, War Machine, the movie War Machine. And I'm, I'm very, very, very happy that Hasbro did this, um, despite the corny gimmick. Um, I'm pretty glad I picked this one up. So anyway, uh, if you missed out on the first version, you can always get this one. Or if you're not a big fan of the 6-inch and you just want to keep your figures in scale with everybody and you want to keep to the 3 and 3 quarters, then this is the figure for you. So there you go. I hope this, this video has been somewhat helpful and informative for those of you who are planning on getting, deciding on whether to get this figure or not. Uh, this is the... Uh, Iron Man, the Armored Avenger movie series, Marvel's Power Charge Armor War Machine. Thanks for watching.